KOPS or COPS or Kubernetes operations is an open source project uh, used to set up Kubernetes clusters very easily and quickly. It's called the cube cuttle way of uh, creating clusters. Most DIY folks who like to set up clusters by themselves play with it, uh, use COPS very often. And COPS can be used to deploy Kubernetes clusters on AWS and GKE primarily. COPS uh, has a lot of networking backends and uh, choosing one depending on use case makes it easy for you to set up various types of clusters. It does have a lot of options. Uh, so what happens is it, it does get difficult to make those configurations right, get them right, and bring a cluster up successfully. COPS makes it easy for small clusters in size, but when it comes to big clusters with very custom configuration, it does get very difficult. So let's take an example. Uh, there are use cases where customers need to bring up Kubernetes clusters, say on AWS, and there are different ways in which you can set up AWS networking. So you can have all of your cluster running on a public VPC, or you might want to run all of your nodes on a private subnet, but still have access to the public internet for services. Or you might want to run your cluster on the AWS VPC, but then connect it to your data center on a VPN. Uh, these are some of the options that uh, customers have. And to be able to do this with COPS, it's possible, but it, it does get very complex. So with all of these complexities, uh, what happens is it takes a, a lot of time to get the configuration right and to bring the cluster up successfully. It also means that there is a need for specific talent where people can understand how COPS works, how configuration is made, and also the AWS cloud architecture itself. Uh, all of this slows down uh, an organization, especially if it's going to be developers trying to stand up Kubernetes clusters. So these are some of the cases or uh, use cases where a managed solution for Kubernetes might make a lot of sense. Uh, managed solutions give you the uh, flexibility of uh, use cases configuration. It also gives you a quick deployment time. And not just deployment, think about what you need to do after deployment, so operations, uh, supportability, looking at monitoring, looking at logging, all of these are definitely possible with do-it-yourself approaches with Prometheus, with Grafana, uh, but then putting all of this together uh, is much easier and much faster with a managed solution. To summarize, if you want to bring up small Kubernetes clusters, COPS is a great way. You could also bring up production-grade clusters too, but once a cluster is brought up, there are a bunch of other things to do in terms of operations, logging, monitoring. So for most people, uh, a managed Kubernetes solution might be a better way to go.